Welcome to it, Mzansi. It's the competition that you have been waiting for. Welcome to the Perfect 10 Gymnastics Show, the only sports show that counts. Proudly brought to you by the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture. Now, my name is Lorianne, aka Lorizi Love, and I'm going to be your host for today. Now, I think, let me just start off with some stretches because this is a gymnastic show. And I'm pretty sure I've got to be like a little bit flexible, but I, I can't even like do a bola makisi, so... Traveled across Mzansi from the Western Cape to Gauteng to the Northwest to capture the finest gymnast talent. And I've got to be honest with you, the spirit of gymnastics is alive and well in South Africa, and we sure do have a bright future. So for this competition, we've had to narrow down our numerous video submissions and bring you the top gymnasts which have been separated into five teams in accordance with their respective disciplines. In our studio today, we have some amazing celebrity judges and they will be scoring each team according to their pizzazz and entertainment value. But don't worry, we also do have technical judges and they will weigh in with their technical scores closer to the end of the show. As the name of the show suggests, Perfect 10, our teams can only get a maximum score of 10 points. Now, without any further ado, let's go and meet our technical judges. To ensure the quality of today's top selection, we have a representation of South Africa's top technical judges. Now, our technical judges have evaluated each routine against the execution criteria for each discipline and selected a winner. Now, from our technical judges to our studio celebrity judges, let's go and meet them. Now, we can all attest to the saying that passion drives perfection and that through chasing perfection, you actually catch excellence. Now, we've added some excellence to our judging procedure today through inviting another set of amazing celebrity judges to our studio. Now, they have familiar faces and familiar names and they've all excelled in their gymnastics career. So, wherever you are joining us from today, just give us a little hoo-hoo for our judges. First up, we do have the lovely Kio Mokolopo Meya, and I call her the rope rock star, okay? She's the second vice president of SA Gymnastics and a four-time rope skipping world champion medalist. She's also a part of the International Jump Rope Union, representing Africa, and the African Jump Rope president. Woo -hoo! Hey. Moving on to uh, Mr. or should I say Dr. Ray Mies, and you'll find out a little bit later on why I call him Dr. He's a leading aerobics gymnast who has represented our country on international stages such as the World Age Group Competition and the 11th World Aerobic Gymnastics Championship in France. Alongside his gymnastics career, he completed his studies in medicine and practices as a GP today. That's why we call him Dr. Ray Mies and I'm sure that he can help with any injury that happens <laughs> on the floor. Last but not least, we do have the beautiful Stephanie Sandler and she's the first South African rhythmic yeah. gymnast to participate at an Olympic Games. She is also one of South Africa's rhythmic gymnasts who have received world-class status from the Federation of International Gymnastics. Give yourselves a round of applause and welcome to Perfect 10. Thank you, Thank you, very Thank you much. so much. Wow, now I've got to find out from you, Keo. You were at yeah. the very first Perfect 10 um, live event yes. as an attendee, and today you're a judge on the Perfect 10 gymnastics <laughs> show. How are you feeling? What are your expectations? I am so excited to be here. 2019 was so great. The talent was insane. So for this year, I'm really looking forward to see what the gymnasts now can do. I mean, it's two years later, so I'm so excited. I don't know about you judges, <laughs> but I'm yeah. looking forward to seeing every Everybody. Okay, now what about you Stephanie? What are some of your expectations? What are you hoping to see? Well, 2020 was obviously a quieter year for everything and so I haven't actually seen all of the top rhythmic gymnasts recently and it's you know the beginning of 2021 so I'm really excited to see the talent and the diverse range of people that we have competing in all the different fields and uh, of gymnastics. Wow. Now, Ray, we have so many competitors in mm. these five teams. What yeah. are your words of encouragement to them today? And, you know, their fans and their family members that are all watching. 
unlike Keo, um, it's mine, Stephanie's first time at the Perfect 10, so we're really amped and ready to go. Um, words of encouragement, yeah, show us your power, show us your enjoyment, show us your passion and joy for gymnastics. That's yeah. what we're here to, to judge today. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Show us your power, show us your joy and enthusiasm for gymnastics. So judges, I think it's time that we get the show on the road. Yeah. Let's go. Let's yeah, go. Well, yes. Now you guys at home can participate through using that hashtag, hashtag Perfect 10. Now let's make welcome our very first team performing right here on Perfect 10, the gymnastics show. It is none other than the gazelles that is being led by Chilwane Sonopo, aka Son P. Check it out. Wow, 
Wow, wow, wow. What a stellar performance by Team Gazelles right over there. The judges are so, so excited. All I heard was sounds like, yo, yo, strength, power. That's impressive. I heard so many comments. I want to find out from you guys, what are your thoughts of some of the individual performances um, with Team Gazelles? Kyo, let's start with you. Sure, I must say individually, Ruan stood out for me. I think he's got amazing strength. I mean, those releases, and he caught them. Wow. And for the landing, he, he literally went above the bar. Wow. That was, that was amazing. Mm. That's Ruan Langa with Men's Artistic Gymnastics yes. right over there. What are your thoughts? Well, I'm a rhythmic gymnast. I was. So, um, Yulia obviously stood out for oh, me. Oh, she was beautiful. beautiful. It was very intricate. There was a lot of little things that you had to watch to see. And I obviously find that very interesting. So, her performance was clean. She didn't drop anything. Everything I How saw. How important is not dropping the apparatus? It's very important. It's not only important from a scoring perspective, but from a judge's perspective and the gymnast perspective you lose confidence yeah. if something like that happens it's almost like it makes you anxious mm. so if you can keep that stability throughout the routine you get a much stronger performance and mm. judges are human so we do have to look at all the factors mm. as well as the technical factors okay Ray what was your wow moment um, I think the acro trio I know I'm from aerobic gymnastics yeah. but Tamika Dakota um, Tamika Dakota and Kirsten Kirsten Amazing. The strength of those young women. Wow. wow. Yeah. They're very and young. They're yeah. And I actually heard you saying that you wouldn't yeah. want to be no, the person at the bottom. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah. if you have a disagreement and you step on the floor, three people together, yeah. you have to like absorb that instantly yeah. because yeah. you're literally trusting yeah. one another. Yeah. It's a it's immense a trust, yeah. I think. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. Team Gazelles impressed you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hashtag yeah. perfect ten. Almost. Yeah. Hashtag yeah, almost perfect I, I was watching for that performance. So. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so difficult. Judges, it's that all-important time for us to find out how you have scored these young people out of the perfect 10. So, Kiel, let's see your score. 8.7. Okay, cool. What? Stephanie, let's see your score. Kio. Okay, cool. 8.7 as well. Dr. Ray, let's see your score. And a 9. Okay, ah. cool. 8.7, 8.7. Why did you go for a 9? Um, I just thought they were very good. <laughs> I thought they, the three, three of them, three routines that were really good performance-wise. And I told you I was watching for performance. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think you deserved a 9. Well yeah. done, team. Well yeah. done. <laughs> Our first team competing, the Gazelles, have a total of 26.4 points. It is getting hot right here in studio. It is time for us to move on to our second team. Judges, are you ready? We are yeah, ready. Yeah. We're so we ready. about to go and take a look at so Team Zebras that is being led by Buisile Hubela. <laughs>
Super, super impressive performance by Team Zebras. Remember to use that hashtag, hashtag Perfect10. But right about now, I want to find out from the judges, what are your thoughts on Team Zebras? Kyo, what are you thinking? I think that they were amazing. Um, I got what I wanted from, I don't know, I think I'm falling in love with men's statistics. Yes, um, eh? Yeah, like, they really, I mean, he, Aiden impressed me. Yeah. Really, he stood out again, men's men statistics again. I think the, the releases that he did were insane. I mean, he did like three of them in a row. For me, that stood out. I loved them. Wow, now, Stephanie, you were quite taken aback by the rope skipping. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the rope skipping because with rhythmic gymnastics, we use the rope, but the way he just casually releases it and as if it's right there, it's just there's such a, a continuance of his movements and the rope. Yeah, Kyo, it's really impressive. Priscilla uses that rope really well. Really, really well. Freestyle. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy that. Yeah. Uh, now, Ray, did you get that performance factor that you were looking for? I did. Um, with Team Zebras? Definitely. Um, I I was looking again at the execution because I couldn't help it. I, my eyes just go there. As a gymnast, you yeah. know, you want that clean routine and I yeah. saw some mistakes. So that's going to count against them. But the performance for definitely acro and um, the rope skipping definitely as well. I'm, I'm really happy with what I saw. It is the moment of truth. We want to find out how our judges have scored Team Zebras. So Kio, let's see your score. I have scored them 8.5. Cool, cool. We Stephanie. don't have a complete match, but we're still close. Kia, I don't know what's going on. 8.55. Mm. <laughs> Dr. Ray? 8.3. I did say a that that execution harsh. was going yeah. to hold against them. I mean, come on, perfect 10. We're going for winners <laughs> here, guys. Yes, but, but I mean, true. Aiden was good. Definitely, Bruce but you Lewis cannot good. just have one I outstanding gymnast. It's a team effort. Well, so. I think they were all outstanding. Yeah. I just felt a bit more vibrant from mm. the gazelles. Um, mm. But mm. I also think that could be due to choice of music. However, yeah. this is performance-based and yeah. we're looking at the entertainment factor. Taking a look at our second team, the Zebras, coming in with 25.35 points. We're having so much fun in studio, right judges? Yeah. So right about now, it is time for us to go and take a look at our third competing team right here at Perfect 10, the gymnastics show. And this is the ch 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 cheaters cheaters and they being led <laughs> by Naveen Darius.
congratulations to the cheaters for giving us an amazing performance yeah. right amazing. over there. Judges, you were indeed impressed by them. Yes, mm. again. I want to yes. find out from you, Kiel, what are some of the moments that stood out to you? Sure, I loved... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm on for entertainment yes. and enjoying what you're doing. And I saw that in Shannon. Yes. She was smiling the way she moved, the way she caught the ball, the way she did her back walkovers. Like it was yeah. on music. The timing was perfect. Professional. Something that I heard you guys saying earlier on, you know, you like the personality in the performance. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. how That's important is it to have personality? Very important. It's yeah. very, very important. Yeah. I think it's for all of the disciplines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's more difficult when you're younger because yeah. you're not... Experience. Yes. Yeah. And you don't really... You haven't sort of developed 100% in that yeah. way. Yeah. Um, and because gymnastics is a young person's sport, I think it is something you develop more in the later parts of your career. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you mentioned also that Luke, you know, he had a great recovery. How important is recovery in gymnastics? Very important. I think yeah. we can all agree you yeah. never give up. No. Um, you have more than one routine yeah. in whatever yeah. discipline yeah. you do. You have to fight until the yeah. end. You're not yeah. done until that last routine. Yeah, yeah. it's not mm. over. Wow. Up until that bang at the end, you're not done. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Ray, any commentary <laughs> on cheetahs? Um, on the cheetahs as a whole, uh, they were... They were really good. I think um, Shannon and Naveen definitely stood out for me as the top. And then the mixed pair in the aerobics section, uh, Kutrane and Tepiso, sorry. Um, yeah, they, their synchronicity was really good. And I was saying to the girls about that earlier, is you need to train yeah. with your partner yeah. day yeah. in, day yeah. out. Um, sometimes yeah. it's difficult when you have teams made up from different provinces, yeah. so you don't train in the same province. Mm. It's very important to have mm. that that, that time, yeah, time together yeah. to learn the other's body, other one's body, and how they move, and to match that with your own passion yeah, as well. It's yeah, complete okay. synchronization. The moment oh. of truth has arrived. Are we want to find out what the judges have scored um, the cheaters out of that perfect ten. So, Miss Keo, let's see what you have. It is moving up eight nine five. Woo -hoo! Go Ooh. cheaters! Go cheaters! Mm. What about you, Stephanie? I was very impressed with them. Genia also impressed me so much. So they get a nine point six. Wow! Wow. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay, cool. Ray, let's see what you right. have. I don't feel bad at all. An 8.85. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, cool. Can you I'm tell so us a little glad. bit about your score, Stephanie? I found that all of the performances were really strong and very different. Um, and I really enjoyed the tumbling. Junior, he was like a little power ball. And the consistency <laughs> yeah. and the height, that's mm -hmm. impressive. And it was just his like energy and his precision mm. I really enjoyed that and, and tumbling isn't something I normally am very taken with mm. so that for me is a big reason why a 9.6 is deserving taking a look at our third team the cheaters they have a total of 27.4 points congratulations we're moving over to our fourth team competing right here at the perfect 10 gymnastics show so let's go and take a look at the blue cranes being led by Mkululi Gosa
Now the blue cranes have surely given our judges a lot of <gasps> ums and ah, <laughs> gasp moments. Yeah. I want to know, Keo, what, what what are your thoughts on the blue crane? I seriously enjoyed the blue cranes. I mean, from rope skipping to men statistic. Yeah, Mkululi was a hit in this one. Mkululi, the music, the timing. I'm still getting goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't believe. I, you know what I told them? We found and we saw all the gymnastics discipline in Mkululi's in routine. In routine. Yeah. Wow. There was tumbling, there was rope manipulation there was movement movement there was enjoyment there was flexibility there was everything wow. in that and 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 it's beautiful to see and i mean moving on acro amazing yeah um moving on men statistic really he sticked it from the giants i don't know how many of them he did <laughs> back nice. front yeah. he did count. so many releases and he landed it and he sticked it yeah. That the dismount sent us all. The dismount, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and the women's statistic as well. It was nicely mm. executed. Tide is really nice and clean. She was so tiny yeah. and I also said yeah. that I, I, really I can't young. wait to see what she's going to do in the future yeah. because the future is too bright. Oh wow. So judges, it is time for us to see how you have scored the blue crane. So Keo, let's start off with you. You know, if I could, I would. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a 20 that you had of If I could. Yeah. But the show is called Perfect, perfect 10. 10. It all is right, Perfect right. 10 after all. Ah. Wow, congratulations. Let's see yours, Stephanie. I was really impressed with everyone. Mm. So, a 9.9. .9. All right. Yeah. We've got a 9.8 up here. I just noticed a bit of a, on the tumbling, there was a mm. bit of a stumble, so that knocked them down a bit. But um, other... Other than that, it was a, almost my a perfect In me, my yeah. eyes, yeah. it didn't matter. It was so good that yeah. the tumbling I didn't even see. <laughs> you know, that's how good they were. <laughs> the fourth team, the Blue Cranes, coming in with a lot of wow moments from our judges, have a total of 29.7 points. Our fifth and final team competing right here at the Perfect 10 Gymnastics Show is none other than the Meerkats, being led by Malusi Dumdumana.
Let's find out if the meerkats actually impressed our judges. I want to find out from you, Ray, what are your thoughts? Very solid team. Um, just giving you a bit of background, um, Charles is differently abled. Mm -hmm. And when you're looking at the sport as gymnastics, you really see from this competition, you can see anyone can be a gymnast. Anyone can tap into the sport and make it their own. And I'm so proud to see him up there. And yeah. the routine was so clean. You see, there weren't many big moves like the other men's artistic gymnasts, yeah. but that routine was so clean. And difficult. that is yeah. what we're also looking for. Yeah. You can have the biggest moves, but if you're not executing them properly, you're, you're going to be scored down. So well done, Charles. I'm really impressed. Okay, cool. Now, I want to find out from you, what are your scores? I'm going to start with Keo. I scored them in nine. Mm -hmm. It was good. Um, I had my standouts as well. Um, Charles was mm. one of them. Mm. And I also liked Rhythmic. I think she looked so beautiful. And Common, her new yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Common had a beautiful routine. Yeah. So I had to distinguish between my previous scores because I felt like I was maybe a little lenient. But um, I was most impressed with Charles and Carmen. I gave an 8.2 though. Mm -hmm. um, it just some of the other components of the uh, montage just didn't really grab me as much. Mm -hmm. Fair enough, fair enough. I gave the team a 9.2. I think um, they did a very clean routine and clean group. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to see how this all plays out and yeah, who's the top, who won. Who's the top of the cup. Yeah, if I look at this team, however, mm. I was also impressed with the bar that okay. Caitlin did. Yes. I mean, you can yeah. clearly see that she is she's our big. queen of bar. Yeah. I mean, the execution, we saw moves that we haven't seen the other mm. gymnasts also do. So it was, it was quite nice to see. Our fifth and final team, the Meerkats, with 26.4 points. While we were having fun in studio, our technical judges were busy scoring the different gymnasts and here are the winners in the different disciplines. for our perfect 10 results. I hope you are ready and you can still use that hashtag, hashtag perfect 10. Judges, can I get a drum roll? Yay! Coming in at number four, we do have Team Zebra! <laughs> now for our third position, we do have a tie and the tie is between the gazelles and the meerkats! Yeah! And in our second position, we have none other than the Cheetah! Well done! You know and what I that mean, means? Yeah. <laughs> Zansi, you gotta stand up for this one. Yeah, Wherever yeah. you are at home, you know, you just gotta do a little, you know, like yeah. shimmy shimmy. Yeah. Because coming in at our number one spot, Guys. our perfect 10 Guys. winner for 2021 is none other than the, the Blue, Blue Crest! Wow, a huge congratulations to the Blue Cranes. And right about now, let's go and take a look at what their captain has to say. Hi everyone, I am so excited to be representing my team who I'd like to thank so much for their outstanding performances. I'd also like to say well done to all the other teams and everybody that took part in the event. Lastly, I would like to thank Gymnastics South Africa for bringing us together to showcase what we do best and have fun doing it. Thank you and... Be safe. Sadly, we have come to the end of the perfect 10 gymnastics show for 2021. But a huge congratulations to all of the winners in their individual disciplines. And of course, shout out to the Blue Cranes who are our 2021 champions. Woohoo! Woo
Now, we want to say a big thank you to our judges. Thank you to you, Keo, Steph, as well as Dr. Ray. You guys have all been amazing. Yeah. And we know that, you know, uh, the Perfect 10 Gymnastics Show would not be possible without the help and assistance from the Department of Sport, Arts and Culture. Yeah. To all of our viewers, make sure that you do keep it locked and loaded onto our social media because we cannot wait to interact with you in stadiums again. From us at the Perfect 10 Gymnastics Show, it is goodbye. Bye.